Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the types of networking topologies. So in our previous lecture, we have gone through different connections and different types of networks, right? So now let us go through different network topologies. So topology is nothing but the how we, the, the way how you connect the systems. So there could be different, different types of connections, guys. So that we'll be discussing in this lecture. So the first type is nothing but bus topology. So the bus topology is a multipoid type, guys. So we have discussed in our previous lecture, the multipoid will be in this way. Okay. Okay. So now let us go through the diagram first so that you'll be having a clear idea. So here there will be a single dedicated port for all the devices. If this is requesting for this, so this request will be going through all the devices and whichever will accept it will give the return data and it, the return data will be sent for all and whichever is want to collect, it will be collecting it fine. So there will be a Mac code guys, according to that it will be accepting and it will be collecting. So basically with the message, you will be sending a Mac code also to the sender and yours name, yours, yours and your senders and receivers you will be sending guys so that we can understand for which device it is going to be sent. Okay. We'll be discussing about that. Don't worry. Okay. So now let us go through the bus topology. So I, I think everyone saw the diagram. Okay. So from the diagram, we can say that it is really easy to initialize, right? And we can use the small networks to do that. And this is really cheap and it is easy to expand. So let us assume you want to add one more device. You'll be just connecting it directly here, right? So there is any complex thing in that? No. So what are the disadvantages? So the disadvantages are that we will be having low speed guys. Slow speed as only one system can transmit at a time. So basically in that position can two systems transmit at a time guys? No, it is, it is not possible. If they transmit at a time, there could be a chance of collision and none of the message will be reaching to the destination. So that is the reason why this is a disadvantage and failure in a single cable will break the whole network. So let us assume I'll be removing this wire. So will the circuit works? No. So that is the main things about bus topology. So now let us go through the ring topology. Guys, I'll be just showing you diagram and I'll be saying some points about it, guys. That's it. That will be more than enough if you are writing it theoretically, theoretic in theoretical exams. And even that could be enough for understanding us because you need to learn the concept, right? Okay. So the ring topology. Ring topology will be in terms of ring. See here, PC1 is connected to PC2, PC2 is connected to PC3 and PC3 is connected to PC4. It is like a circle, right? So this circle will be called it as a ring. Fine. Okay. So let us go through a point. So for, from here, I think I wrote definitions for each and everything. So in this, each computer is connected to a network. Sorry, to the next computer with the last one connected to the first. So this is a cyclic process, something like cyclic. One to another, another to another, another to another. So this we will be calling it as multi-port data connection. Yes, that's true. And here we will be passing tokens, guys. So we'll be learning about token passing methods. That is nothing but switching mechanism, guys. We'll be going through them. Don't worry. So the major drawbacks or disadvantages about these ring topologies that the same issue. If there is any disconnection between one device, that will cause the whole network to collapse, guys. So fault in any link brings down the whole network. Bring down is nothing but collapse. Okay. So, and it is really difficult to troubleshoot in this ring topology. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay. So now let us go through star topology. Okay. The star topology will be in this way guys. So by observing only, you can say the best advantage of the star topology. If a single connection is lost, there will be no issue. The other connections will be working as usual. Only the particular system will be losing its connection. Okay, so now let us go through a small definition for star topology. Here, all wires from the computers goes through a central location, which is nothing but a device called as hub. So we'll be discussing about hub in detail, guys. Don't worry. Okay, so all connections goes through the hub. So all the connections we are connecting to the hub. So the major disadvantage is, okay, first let us go through advantage. So the advantage is that if any link is broken, so let us assume this link is broken. So the transfer of data cannot be sent for PC4. Whereas if you are transferring from PC1 to PC, sorry, PC2 to PC1, you can just transfer the data with the help of hub. It will, it will be a medium. So we'll be passing it from, to, through that. Fine. Okay. So what are the disadvantages? So if a central hub fails, the whole network fails. So what if the net, the central hub due to some technical issue or any kind of issue, if that fails, what will be the issue? There will be no connections and it will be a hectic work guys. Fine. 
okay so and the second thing is cabling cost is more see here you are applying four cables for four systems if there are hundred systems you need hundred cables right so that could be an issue so that is the reason why star topology is also not much used so now let us go through mesh topology okay so let us go through the diagram so that you'll be having a clear idea so here you can say mesh topology here the connections are given for all the possible connections guys so from the diagram again you can say that the disadvantage is that we are having multiple connections so the wiring cost will be really expensive okay so now let us go through the point so that we'll be having a clear idea mesh topology in this each device has a dedicated point to point link to every other device so if you observe here here pc2 and pc1 is having a dedicated link right so in this link can anyone send the data only pc2 can send to pc3 or pc3 can send to pc2 right so that is the reason why we will be calling this as point to point link which we have discussed in our previous lecture about point to point connection okay so due to dedicated link there is no traffic problem traffic problem is nothing but when there are two transfers transfers at simultaneously or two transfers which are trans two messages which are traveling in a same dedicated link so that could cause that could cause cause traffic guys fine okay so failure of one link does not affect the entire network so let us assume that this link got broke so the transfer between pc3 and pc2 stops but the rest of trans transfers will be working really fine right so that is the advantage and here we are having more security and privacy so if you want to send from pc4 to pc2 you'll be sending in that link only so no one can enter that link so that will be an advantage and easy fault diagnosis so if a pc3 and pc2 are not able to transfer the data it indirectly says that the link in between them is damaged right so the fault detection and everything will be really easy and but you but when you compare the cost of this is really expensive guys because if you consider n links sorry n devices there will be n minus n into n minus 1 by 2 links you need for need to establish the network so that's what i have written here so if we have n devices we need n into n minus 1 by 2 links to connect each and every device guys so i hope everyone got a small idea on this mesh topology so now let us go through tree topology from the name you can say it will be like a tree right the root will be having childs the childs will be having again childs in that way fine so this could be a small example for tree guys so basically a hub we are having two sub hubs so for that each hub you are having two two devices so there can be n number of devices for a hub guys fine okay so now let us go through the definition so variation of a star topology so this is nothing but a variation of star topology guys if you observe in star topology we are having a central hub and we are getting from all the directions whereas here we are having in a tree structure like from top to bottom approach or anything like that fine so here node in a tree sorry nodes in a tree are linked to a central hub if you observe you are having a central hub and the nodes are connected to it so but if you observe here the cabling cost is more and on failure of the central hub the entire system will collapse so i hope everyone got a small idea on this all these topologies which we have discussed we have discussed about five different types of topologies guys fine okay so the topics that we have discussed in this lecture are bus topology ring topology star topology mesh topology and tree topology so i hope everyone got at least a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we will be going through the data link layer so whenever you are transmitting data from one device to another device the data to be sent right so with the help of data link layer only we will be tra transferring the data guys so that is the reason why now let us in the next lecture we will be going through the data link layer thank you thanks for watching